Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me what the internet is? Yeah, it's the information superhighway. Yeah, isn't it the World Wide Web? Um, uh, what's that? The Internet Computer Network connects the world's seven continents, dozens of countries, states, cities, towns, and homes, providing the opportunity to use libraries, sift through archives, send and receive mail, to participate in discussion groups with people from anywhere in the world, and share software programs, video, graphics, animation, and sound. Digitized information sent across the Internet can reach its destination not using just one route, but any route. The Internet Data Network is made up of phone company circuits, local area networks, LANs, wide area networks, WANs, regional area networks, RANs, and millions of computers at different geographical locations. From time to time, backhoes cut phone lines, computer systems crash or have hardware failures, and users have problems accessing the network. The Network Operations Center, or NOC, monitors the network and maintains records of events and unsolved problems, facilitates the exchange of information between users, network staff, and engineers, and monitors and diagnoses events on the network. Your NOC may operate the network of a university, a corporation, a government institution, a library, or some other type of organization. As NOC operators, you are very important to the overall operation of the network. The people who work in a NOC are often the first contact for users who are having trouble using the network. Your job includes taking problem reports from the public, using computers and software to locate problems on the network, using computers and software to fix these problems, working with the people who can make changes to or answer questions that people may have about the network, and updating and maintaining records. Internet applications are simply a set of software programs that collectively accomplish a specific job. Each program creates a communication link between your local computer and a remote computer that resides on any network, anywhere. The applications translate the different languages communicated between the two computer systems. This connection enables the two computers to exchange information. To fully understand a network application, you must understand the relationship between the client and the server. The client is the software that is on your local computer. It queries the information data located on the server or remote computer. The server then responds using the software designed to communicate and answer the client questions or queries. Client software can be made specifically for your IBM, Macintosh, Sun, or other system. As NOC operators, we have to know the applications we use as well as those used by the user. The applications most important to the working of a network operations center are Simple Network Management Protocol, or SNMP, and Domain Name System, or DNS. Some of the most basic yet important user applications are File Transfer Protocol, known as FTP, Remote Login, commonly called Telnet, and Simple Transfer Protocol, known as Electronic Mail, or Email. Some newer applications that further organize information and simplify access to remote login, FTP, and email are Gopher, Wide Area Information Service, or WACE, World Wide Web, News, and Archie. A primary function of a network operations center is to monitor IP-based networks. Monitoring requires computer programs known as network management systems. The real work of an NMS is done by a central manager program and remote agents that operate on the nodes. The manager sends queries, asked by humans, to the agent via a communications protocol, which you can think of as a hotline requiring special communication rules. SNMP is a protocol that is commonly used for these exchanges. Each agent receives orders from the managers. To keep up with queries the manager might send, the agent gathers information and keeps a standard storage structure, 
called a MIB, up to date. The standard MIB has variables such as IF speed or how fast is this interface and IF out octets or how much data is sent out of this interface. Another MIB variable is sys up time or how long has the node been up and running. When the manager gets the information from the agent at the remote node, it then displays it for the NOC personnel. Within the SNMP framework, three basic operations are allowed. The first is get, which means you can retrieve information such as how long since you rebooted a computer. The second is set, which allows you to command the computer to turn off an interface or repeat an action. Next is get next, which enables you to retrieve the next known variable within the variable structure. For example, you might need to determine the next IP address assigned to a node. Overall, within the SNMP framework, the NOC operator asks questions about the health and activity of a network to a manager program. The manager program then directs the request to the appropriate remote agent, which keeps the up-to-date information stored in the management information bank. <laughs> When networks first started joining together, the question of naming each computer site was relatively easy. A static table of names was kept in each computer so that anyone who had access could look up an individual site for the numerical address. This host table was not a problem with, say, 300 entries. But as networks exploded, so did the number of domains, hosts, and individuals who wanted to join. What was needed to solve this problem was a method of allowing each site to update their own local host tables, which the local administrator would hopefully keep up to date, and then to devise a mechanism to allow remote hosts to query that table. The solution to this problem is the Domain Name System, or DNS, which is a mechanism for converting numbers, which computers like to use, into names, which humans like to use. The DNS can be viewed as a distributed database that allows any Internet-connected client to ask for information about a subnetwork. The name server is a computer which keeps information and responds to queries about the subnetwork. Each domain is associated with the name server, and many domains may share one. The most frequent query made to the DNS is a request to retrieve the IP address number associated with a particular host's name. The IP number tells the requester where to find the host computer. This is similar to calling directory information and asking for a person's telephone number. <laughs>